OK, so I don't have my notes up here. So uh, I can't even see what I'm presenting. But um, my talk is Over Engineering Your Chatbot for Fun in Science. Uh, I, I am Andrew Gao, as he said. And uh, I've been working with Kubernetes and Golang for the last year or so. Um, as, I, as he said, I work with Capital One, and we are hiring, so stop by our booth. Um, so why are we talking about chatbots today? Um, here's a couple of reasons, right? The first reason is that uh, chatbots have a really simple request response architecture. Um, something uh, like you say hello to your chatbot, and your chatbot says, I'm a chatbot back. Uh, pretty simple. And hopefully very similar to something you see, another very simple project that you've probably done a thousand times called Hello World, right? So my argument, or my, my hope, is that your takeaway uh, from this talk is that next time you want to do a Hello pro World project to either learn a new technology or a new language, why not try Hello Chatbot? So on the topic of new technology and um, languages, one of the great things about chatbots are that they are language and platform agnostic in that no matter what language you want to learn or whatever, I guarantee you that there's probably a couple implementations uh, of said chatbot. Uh, and in addition, the, the, the bread and butter of your chatbot is actually the mapping between your the, the, res the, the request that you, know, you send your chatbot and the response that you're trying to give it. And that can and probably should be uh, decoupled from the client that you have, right? So what that means is um, what this, whether you have a Slack bot or just Discord bot or whatever your chat client of choice or in whatever language of choice, they can share that same request um, response mapping. So what is the next topic? <laughs> Sorry, I can't see anything. Uh, yeah, so uh, on, the thing, uh, on that note, one of the, another reason why chatbots are cool is because everyone can contribute no matter their skill level, right? Um, you, you don't even have to be technical, and you can still be the person to dictate what response goes to what um, message, right? Um, we had. Uh, we had on our first, an intern on her first week jo join our team and implement a functionality where if you set a certain command to our chatbot, then it would give you a random dog fact, right? It's pretty awesome. So what is that? Oh my god, I really wish I had a, something. Also, also it, that, that being said, chatbots are also really useful and a lot more useful than um, what I would say a Hello World project is in that you can implement you know, automating tasks, daily, your daily task, or uh, whether you want an interactive, responsive communication layer between your users, right? So that's really cool. All right, so now that hopefully you guys are a little bit sold on chatbots, um, let, it's time to see what's out there. And we have a couple, th if, here's a couple of the top like Google results, and they're all sort of variations of Build your chatbot in 10 minutes or less, or 10 lines or less. But unfortunately, my talk is not you know, the minimalistic chatbot. My talk is over engineering your chatbot, um, specifically with Kubernetes. So when I take a look at these Google search results, what I think is missing is buzzwords, right? So I'd like if you guys could join me in, um, ha ha uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be outlining a what what should be what could have been a 10 line microservice and we're going to make it a containerized distributed highly available open source kubernetes chatbot powered by machine learning right so th that's a lot more buzzwords um, so you may ask why do you, does your chatbot need all these things that's not necessarily the right question i direct you to the title of this talk um, but to just jump in there, we're gonna, for, for my project, um, I, did, I had never worked with uh, Golang, uh, so I started containerizing with uh, Docker and Golang, and I found that the pairing is great for minimalistic, <laughs> I'm sorry, All right, I'm out of time, but uh, my excuse is I can't see anything. 
But uh, yeah, so I'll just, I'll just go through these. But yeah, whatever. I'm just standing here. <laughs>